Thank you for engaging. Can you see that the river is running today? The river is on a fast pace. I am standing on the edge. Hi, that looks like an amazing thing to be doing today. You can never do it otherwise. You can't because there's like no rocks. Well, we've been here for 30 years, never had it before like this. Never? Never, ever like this. Wow, so we're enjoying the best of the back That's channel right. of the Rideau we'll River. Never have it again either. Wow, I love it. You're making this is me. This spring flood conditions right now. It really is, yeah. and we're August. Yeah. I'm going to have to get mine out and do the same thing because you've just taught me something fun. You, you just get on up at the, by the bridge. Yeah. There's a path that takes you down the water. You can get off down at the, uh, the other bridge. Or there's a drainage <laughs> ditch you get out at the McLean Park. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to do that. <laughs> the river is running. And it's such a fun thing. I mean, the first time in 30 years, who knew I would have visitors just as I came down here to engage with you. And so just like you engage with me and I engage with you, we get to engage all over the place. So today I was actually going to talk about running, the things that run. And the river is running. The people are, well, they're not running per se, except we get to engage. And that's a, a form of running, engaging and, and just participating in life with each other. It's so much fun. And one of the things I did today, and I don't know if you've ever done this, and when I tell people they cringe, and actually I even cringe when I think about it, and that is my car runs most of the time, which is such a good thing when I want to get from A to B or even B to C. It's fantastic that our car runs. I bet you love it the days your car runs versus the days that it's not running, right? It's good. And yet, I have this thing. I have a car that actually isn't very noisy. It's actually kind of quiet, kind of like this river right now. You can't hear the running of the river. You can see some foam bits. And I was thinking, who is throwing garbage into our river? And it's not. It's just from the fast moving waters if it comes over by the mill that we're getting all these water foam bubbles. I mean, how crazy is that? And yet what I did is I left my car running. Like when I got out of the car and I went to the office to work. The most I've ever done it for is eight hours. I obviously had a full tank of gas and it runs smooth. So sometimes we can't even feel the running and yet it's still happening. Have you ever left your keys in the car and gotten out and gone shopping? I know that at least you have and I have done it too. Now I don't have a key in my car so that's my excuse. I go there's no key it's just a push button start so I'm not putting keys in my purse. I'm not putting keys in my pocket. I'm just getting out and the thing is still running. And so it got me thinking where else in life are we running and that maybe it isn't serving us because I know leaving my car parked with nobody in it while it's running is a really bad idea and I suspect you know that too. Well where else in life do you run? Like whether it's in your mind that it's running like a mile a minute or you're running around like with a chicken with its head cut off and it isn't serving you. How do you, how do I, how do we collectively and together help each other to slow down just enough so that we're not running so much on autopilot that we don't even know that I don't even know I've left my car running. Today it wasn't too bad. Lana came in and she decided a for sale sign or actually a sold sign on a property that had sold needed to be put in the garage and be at the office and because that had to happen, great news is she thought, huh? am I hearing something? And as she leaned in to listen to my car, she realized it was running. So I was bailed out, I was helped. So thanks Lana. You're welcome. This is a great thing. And so how can you, first of all, notice when you're running, running too quick in your brain to actually accomplish anything? And how can you then also comment and share and help someone else? Because Lana helped me today. Without it, I would have left here tonight at 7 or 8 p.m. because I suspect that's about when my real estate day is going to wrap up today. My serving clients today will probably be at least that long. And so it would have been running for like a good 12 hours not cool. And so how can you help someone else not run when it's not serving them? 
I'm not talking about going for a run down the street or a beautiful run, so to speak, down the river. It's those things that are getting in your way, getting in my way. So comment, share, and you know, I would encourage you even to share this video with others so that they can help you and you can help them and together we move forward together and accomplish so much more than we could ever do singly.